Now to this story, revolutionary <laughs> technology that can edit genetic mistakes is getting attention and scrutiny this morning. And what is CRISPR? CRISPR, first of all, it's an acronym. Geneticist Jennifer Doudna gets asked that question a lot. A researcher and professor at UC Berkeley, Doudna has become a spokesperson for a gene editing technology she's credited with developing. CRISPR has generated immense excitement. Could it cure, at some point, virtually any disease? I don't know about any disease, but I think any disease that has a genetic uh, basis is something that could be treated using the CRISPR technology. This is NBC Nightly News. We're back now with a fascinating window on life as it was tens of thousands of years ago. It comes from a treasure trove of fossils, hundreds of thousands of them. NBC's Jacob Rascone has our report. Only a select few have keys to this restricted area where hundreds of thousands of fossils are coming back to life. Scientists at Berkeley say the fossils are key to understanding the California Ice Age some 30,000 years ago. They could reveal why these animals became extinct and how humans and climate change played a part. We had camels. In California, we had mammoths and mastodons. PhD student Eric Holt, like a kid in a candy store. They're just absolutely cool. Live in Times Square, this is Good Morning America. A lack of sleep has its drawbacks, but when you go to sleep also matters, especially for teenagers. A late bedtime could have serious consequences. This morning, a new study from UC Berkeley finds that if your teen goes to bed late, they are at a higher risk of gaining weight. More than 3,000 people were studied, and over 60% of young adults between the ages of 18 and 24 went to bed past 11 p.m. That late bedtime was associated with an increase in weight gain that, was, that corresponds to 2.1 unit increase in body mass index over that developmental period. Like most student athletes who leave college before earning a degree, former Cal Bears Tully Banticane and Javid Best were unsure of the next step after their professional careers came to a close. UC Berkeley is giving students a second chance to achieve that balance with their degree completion program. In my NFL career, when I knew it was over, the, the first thing I thought was like, what do I do now? From a moral ethical standpoint, I think it's just most important that you stay true to the students that you have brought onto your campuses and that you've recruited actively. ABC 7 News starts right now. Ten years ago this week, New Orleans was forever changed when Hurricane Katrina destroyed landmarks, neighborhoods, and killed nearly 1,500 people. A decade later, UC Berkeley students are still spending their time and energy rebuilding that city as part of a volunteer program. Jeffrey Mitchell spent his summer there in 2006. Mitchell says volunteering there helped him understand the economic disparities that still exist such as the French Quarter, which was rebuilt almost immediately. And then you look at the Ninth Ward, and it looks like Katrina hit yesterday. And now, ABC's Shark Tank. Hello, Sharks. My name is Melissa Jawaharlal. And I'm Lavanya. We, we are, are sisters, sisters and co-founders of STEM Center USA. We set up a creativity center for students from five years old all the way up to college to learn how to design, build, and program. What's your background? I am I just turned 21 years old. I'm going into my senior year at UC Berkeley and I'm studying mechanical engineering. Would either of you do $200,000 for 20%? I would. Lori, we'd love I to believe work with you. I believe I'd have to work with you, Lori. You, you are dynamite. You could do anything. Yeah, thank you. 